President NTU, dear Pro Chancellors, Board of Governors, Professors, Faculty Members, Staff, Students, and Distinguished Guests. I am indeed <coughs> delighted to be in the internationally reputed Nanyang Technological University NTU in a research intensive academic environment is nurturing students from across the globe in diverse disciplinary strength as well as entrepreneurial and leadership skill for the 21st century. My greetings to the students, faculty members, alumni, staff and distinguished guests assembled here. I consider it a great honor for receiving the honorary degree Doctor of Engineering conferred by the prestigious Nanyang Technological University NTU. While I am with you, I wish to share a few events, my personal experience during my education, my personal observation on integrative approaches that have enriched the world, the creativity that is needed for the challenging problem confronting the humanity, and my thoughts on the 21st century university mission. Since I am in the midst of students being prepared for techno-managerial expertise, I would like to give my experience with a teacher who taught me system design, system integration, system management in an integrated learning environment in the classroom. While I was studying in the Aeronautical Engineering Madras Institute of Technology, Chennai, 1954-57, during the third year of the, my course, I was assigned a project with five other colleagues to, to design a low-level attack aircraft. When I was a student, I was assigned to design a low-level attack aircraft. I was given the responsibility of a system design, system integration and integrating the team members. Also, I was responsible for aerodynamic and structural design of the project. The other five members of my team took up the design of propulsion, control, guidance, avionics and instrumentation of the aircraft. My design teacher, Professor Srinivasan, then director of the Madras Institute of Technology was my, our guide. He reviewed the project and declared, after four months he reviewed the project and declared my work to be a gloomy and disappointing. He did not. I asked for a month's time to complete the task. Since I had to get the input from other five of my other colleagues without which I cannot complete the system design. Professor Srinivasan told me, quote, look, we are man, this is 1954. Today, today is a Friday afternoon. I give you three days time. 54 is a very important year for Singapore, I think. I give you three days time. By Monday morning, if I don't get the configuration design, your scholarship will be terminated. I had a I had a jolt in my life, as scholarship was my lifeline, without which I cannot continue with my studies. There was no other way out but to finish the task. My team felt the need for working together round the clock. We did not sleep that night and few nights, working on the drawing board, skipping our dinners. On Saturday, I took just an hour's break. On Sunday morning, when I was near completion, I felt someone present in my laboratory. It was Professor Srinivasan studying my progress and the design. After looking at, at our work, he patted and hugged me affectionately. He had words of appreciation. He said, I knew I was putting you under stress and asking you to meet a difficult deadline. You have done a great job in a system design. Through this review mechanism of, of Professor Srinivasan, I was injected the necessity of understanding the value of time by each team member and brought out the best from the system design team. I realized that if something is at stake, that human minds get ignited and the working capacity 
gets enhanced many fold. That is what exactly happened. The message for you all friends, whatever be their specialization, the student should be trained to system approach and projects which will prepare them for how products, innovation and undertaking higher organizing responsibility. A teacher has to be a coach like Professor Srinivasan. I am confident that the success of the NTU is based on the foundation of its faculty and research task. You know, all the projects that I have dealt with during my professional career, the time during my presidency of my country and even now, I have been coming across again and again how networking of individuals and disciplines, organization, states and countries lead to innovative results and missions. We have been witnessing how complex missions it demand improving the quality of life, the exploration of unknown or bringing peace and preventing conflicts. We are enjoying the fruits of technology, expanding physical travel and connectivity beyond any realm of imagination in the past centuries. While the humanity can be proud of this kind of non-linear growth of technology and expertise in many fields, impacting the world at large, we are up to the challenges that can't what we, we are are we are we up to the challenges that confront us today? Take any issue, be it energy independence, on environmental production, or understanding the atmosphere, or exploration of our outer space, or increasing the outreach of science, or equitable distribution of prosperity and wealth, or dealing with the deadly diseases, or leading people away from drugs, or combating the terrorism, or preserving the family ties. They all require the creativity of the best minds from any part of the world. The question is, we have to ask ourselves, is whether the universities provide adequate breeding ground for such minds. Invention, invention and discoveries have emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working and imaging the outcome in the mind. With imaging and constant effort, all the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind, thereby leading to invention or discoveries. Higher the number of creative minds in an organization, the best results of invention and discoveries will emerge. Unique academic environment is an enabler for great thinking that leads to creativity. As I greet you in this picturesque campus of NTU in the city of Singapore, an innovative world hub for business, education and tourism, I have been picturing in my mind the revolution that has taken place in university education itself since my younger days. I have heard the benefit of receiving quality education with value system for different dedicated teachers. I remember with gratitude to the education institution and the teacher for their guidance and the life.